crafting it a certain way, crafting a persona. Do you ever come across? So. Do you have uh, those considerations when you're putting together, uh, like like the Hurt Locker, for instance, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. Thank you. It's such a good movie. Thank you. It's so good because it's so like you can see how he would be like that. You could see how he would be drawn to go back there. You could see how the pull of and the chaos of it all. And then there's a scene where he's, I believe, he's in a supermarket. Mm-hmm. And it's just fucking boring. Mm-hmm. Life is just the mundane, normal life, and he just wants to go back to war. Yeah. It's it, and I'm like I'm, I buy it all in. You know, it's like it's very rare that you know you see him. There's like no suspension of disbelief. You buy him. You, you're watching that film. And you're like, whoa. Like I could see. Well, that was a big part of what we were trying to do was to was to. So I had been in. I had been in Baghdad as a reporter in 2004, I guess. And um, I had seen some of what what's depicted in the, in the film. And so I had witnessed the bomb squad going out and defusing bombs. And then, and I wrote an article about it, and then um, the idea came along for a screenplay. I had the idea to write a screenplay, put it that way. And my whole thing is, over the course of a year, I didn't know how to write a screenplay, but my whole thing is I was learning how to do it and doing rewrites was to try to replicate the experience that I had, that I felt when I was there, okay? So to do that, there was a lot of craft and whatnot involved in, how to, in, in creating that, that I had to learn. But it also meant breaking a lot of rules of narrative and storytelling that you normally would do to make a movie effective but that in this case may, would have made it less authentic to the experience. Like one, for example, is that most war movies are organized around a mission. It's like in the beginning of the movie, you're told, hey, this is what we got to do, and then the rest of the movie plays out, like Saving Private Ryan or what have you. And when I was in Baghdad, one of the things I was struck by was the, this ceaseless like hamster wheel repetition of the war that it wasn't organized around a single mission it was this futile attempt to try to find all these bombs that had been dispersed throughout the country by the counterinsurgency so I couldn't organize it around a mission I had at least in my mind to keep it authentic I had to kind of make the story similar enough to the reality which was like every day a new mission like a kind of you know um episodic structure, they call it. So there are all these decisions along the way that get made to create that feeling that you have where you go, oh, I can suspend, I can suspend my disbelief because this feels, this feels real. And then there's the point at which, like you do all this research, I did all that research of actually going there, hanging out with these guys, talking to them, witnessing what they were doing, trying to get deep inside of it, learning about IEDs and how they work and really getting inside their mentality, hanging out with them. And then there's another point at which you kind of put yourself into the piece too. And it's funny that you mentioned the scene at the end and it's it's been really instructive to me because uh, when I was doing screenings for the Hurt Locker, a lot of times at the end of the screening, like a, a vet would come up and that scene in the grocery store where Sergeant James, that's the character name, was like kind of first time back from the war and he's, he's like overwhelmed by the commercialism of the supermarket and all the choices of cereal. And it's not just that it's boring, it's that it's like, so meaningless compared to what he'd just been doing. And he can't, he can't function. And you've seen this guy operate on such a high level for the past, whatever it is, hour and a half. Yeah, there's a scene right there. Oh. And he can't choose, you know? All this, like, uh, consumer shit. It was such a good representation of what these guys have to go through. But my, 
And Renner is so good there too. He's amazing. But that that actual thing had happened to me.